Welcome to episode 13 of Two Dumb White Guys. We have officially done it. We have reached a full season's worth of television episodes. If we were a television show. Woohoo! And you can't even see us. Exactly. You've listened to 13 of these and you can't even see us, except this, our faces on the album art. This one is going to be a little different, though, because you actually will see something change on the screen. Well, the last one I did, I put the bracket at the very end of the March Madness one, believe it or not. Oh. Yeah. So There see, we go. See, I could do a lot more crazy stuff with that. I just don't have the time to edit. But luckily this time I have a master editor at in the bay ready to give his first shot at editing these things together. Of course, he said in the bay because it's Michael Bay, and that was just insinuating, mm-hmm. you know, giving you the hint. Yes, yes, Actually, we're we're going to explode at the end of this episode. Yep. <laughs> Actually, we probably might have one which has us exploding because we are finally going to do an actual meme meme, meme review. I don't know how that goes. I've I've watched the first one to figure out how it went, but the, I've never revisited it. Yeah. So you got the next meme. Or the meme dies, dead meme, meme review, uh, or meme reviews is intro, new meme format. Hmm. We actually have one that might qualify as new meme format, kind of here. Okay. Um, all right. So here's how it's going to work on this episode. We are going to walk through the memes that you, the listeners, submitted to us. We will show them, and you will see them at the same time as we see them. Now, Mr. Norman has seen every single one of these memes because he had to put them together. I have only seen a handful, so you'll mainly be getting Mr. Davidson uh, PBD's reaction to these memifications of us. (laughs) So let's go ahead and start off with uh, one or uh, a, a pair of them that I'm not really sure how the student found these pictures, but they are you. Uh, so... let say, I, it's not that hard, like, being from Portageville and, be, uh, friends of friends on Facebook, I think, can view my images and whatnot, so they could probably have found them through that. All right, so we're starting off with this. Ta-da! Ah, that actually used to be an Instagram picture of me. Uh... And it says, new haircut, can I get a what-what? <laughs> I do need a I do need a haircut. Yeah, that was actually back when I had a Mini Cooper. I actually owned a Mini Cooper when <laughs> I, I worked. Didn't at, know that. Yeah, when I worked at Campbell, I actually was on. I either was on my way back from grad. I think I was on my way back from graduate or on my way to graduation at Campbell, and that's the reason why I took that picture like that. Styling, mm-hmm. styling. So uh, as far as the meme goes, I see you've added the can I new haircut? Can I get a what what? Uh, it's not necessarily like it's a. I wouldn't necessarily meme it. it. Like, it is a commentary, but I don't... Like, technically, it could become a format, but they're not, like, extending a pattern from another meme, so... Yeah, well, I think it is, actually. I think that this is a meme format that has been used uh, of... It at- just looks like an Instagram thing to me. Yeah, I mean, is this actually your post? No. Okay, yeah, see, that's I'm what not I Hockey Man Griffin That's, that's what I was saying. I believe that that is the meme, is that you just substitute oh. in pictures with someone else's captions. Ah, I see. So, uh, that so it's a mismatch kind of meme. Yes, okay. and so there's another version of that, or another style of that, where you put, and you make it look like someone has an Insta or not Instagram, a uh, Snapchat filter, like this. Ha! <laughs> Uh, felt cute. Might delete later. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's same variation on the same idea. That is a really old picture. That is a picture that is about twelve years old. Actually, at this no, eleven years old at this point. That was whenever I was twenty, and I was working at the Delta Center. It was a rainy day, and I had just gotten an iPhone, and so like I was taking selfies. all kinds of, I was say like, it was a selfie before selfies became a thing. So yeah. <laughs> so what what year would you give that? Uh, 2008, I want to say. Oh, wow. That yeah. is, that's, that's when I was in high school. Yeah, I was, uh, that would have been June of 2008. <laughs> that was a rainy day at the Delta Center. It r- rained for the first time in like a month and we like just sat around the shop. Well, did you feel cute? I did not. Oh. <laughs> it was like a, my, it was more like a new profile, like hashtag new profile pick at that particular time. All right, so now we're going to go one. This is actually one of me, but we'll allow you to react. This is something that a student who we cannot name calls me all the time. Here we go. 
Scottish cheese. Scottish cheese. I will say my wife enjoys this one. She I like thinks the it's I funny. like the glasses they put on you. Yeah. Oh well, we'll get to those. That is actually <laughs> those were actually on my face. Oh, this so is, that's not a that's not a. Uh... No, that's not an addition. <laughs> those were on my face at the time. Um, so we'll get to that picture. I'll show you the actual picture later because someone else memed it. I guess they they found it on Facebook and somehow started using it for this purpose. Um, I do appreciate the fact that it's, like, that looks like a legitimate cottage cheese. I mean, like, if I just looked at that from across the store. Like, your, 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 thi- your, your face is a spoonful. It is. Yes, it that's is. That's probably my favorite part of it is, like, it, it looks like a spoonful of your face. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Yep, there we go. So, Scottish cheese. I think Scottish t- cheese is a, is a one that can stay. Is it, is oh, it, yeah, that's what we haven't been actually doing the, the, the clap. Uh... So I don't know. I mean, it's not a dead meme. I, I think that that might be a new format. Put other people's faces on food that sounds like them. So uh, we now have a series of them that is us being asked questions. Okay. So some of these might be on the mark. So we're going to give it a an on the mark, an off the mark, or uh, whatever else we feel like at the time. So... We'll start off with one that I think I already know how this one might go. <laughs> uh, well, like, like here's the thing. Like, I like, like I am a very, like I'm taking getting my master's at the moment, so I'm a very stressed out person at the moment. <laughs> and so, yes, yeah, like uh, students asking me just random questions in the hallway, I really don't have time for. And especially, I think a freshman made this. Yes, yeah, a freshman and made so this. And so I am naturally, like, no offense to the freshman, uh, next year I'll get to know who you are and I will actually care about you. But I am not, le- like, I am not technically You're- required to know who they are or care about their their livelihoods. So they are just bodies in my way right now. The one benefit I will give this is that pretty much anything you use from the office, especially Creed or Michael, is just going to be amusing. Like, you mm-hmm. could have said just about anything, and just that picture of Creed is funny. So, uh... Yeah, I, like, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, it does... Ref- it is reflective of me. So I will say that... What were we saying? We, we, on, said, we said on mark or miss the mark. We'll give that, that that's one on mark. I will yeah. say that that's on mark. All right. Okay, so now we've got... We'll, we'll alternate. We'll try and keep it alternated... Um, so this one is actually a GIF. I will try and make this work on the video so that you guys can see the GIF in motion. If not, this one won't make any sense. Here we go. <laughs> so this is, I'm, I'm going to give this one on the mark. This used to be my go-to when the announcements were going on. You would just floss. I would just floss, was yes. Um, it this, was, this reads, hello, fellow kids, to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and maybe it's why I get mistaken for a student. I don't know, but uh, it's the only dance move I can do other than the, like, you know, the finger point from... Oh, the disco yeah, point? Yeah, the yeah. disco finger point. That's about you it. Don't, you don't know how to do the lawnmower? Oh, okay, lawnmower. Okay, we, the yeah, cherry we, picker? We could do an episode of... The cherry picker? My my favorite... The... You know, the, uh, the uh, the oh, what la- are those the called? Lawn, the um, lawn sprinkler? Yeah, the sprinkler. Yeah. The sprinkler. No, um... I can't yes, I those. literally just did all three of he those did dance those. moves. You, he did the dance I, like moves. A, most of the time we do like theater of the mind. No, no. I the, legit did those. The best part was that while he was doing the sprinkler, we were both staring at each other <laughs> trying to think of the word sprinkler. That that moment alone would have been good for an actual face If we face actually had a moment. video on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So uh, I'll give that one on the mark. I'll give that one on the mark. Now we will go back to uh, a Davidson one. And uh, I'm not so sure about this one personally. It's just by itself. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Ross. I, I like the Ross. That is like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, and once again, this is. A, I think it's the freshman it's that same made this. Freshman, yes. Yeah, I'm just at the like. No offense to the freshman. Just like I don't know you, so I'm like, okay, I'm good. So towards freshman, I would say this is on the mark. He's saying back off, freshies. <laughs> But yes, I will say that that one is on the mark. Okay, on the mark. So we got three on the mark in a row. We'll go back to a uh, a Norman one. Uh, there, there is one that I'm going to actually not. Well, I'll, I'll, I might show it. We'll see. But there, there's one that they dropped a name in of a student. All right. 
I appreciate this one, especially since it was submitted to me first as a printed off copy. Here you go. Nobody, Mr. Dorman, making random contact. I, eye contact. Eye contact. <laughs> hey, I'm known to do that too. I, will, I do that to. That means you weren't paying attention. I just do it just to mess with the kids sometimes. So, just be uh, like, you. Yeah, I, like, if I'm talking and I notice explicitly that you are like staring at your thumbnail and deep in thought about whether or not you should chew on it further or something, then I'll just stare at you until the whole room is staring at you and keep talking. I would also do it if you are sleeping and like trying to play off you weren't sleeping or. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I, during assemblies, I like to do it to just a rand, I'll pick up a random kid in the, in the, in the uh, audience. There, there's a specific student I'm thinking about right now, but uh, he no longer goes to school here. But he's yes. still he's still he's still eight, a student under 18, so we can't say anything. Yeah, but he used to get all <laughs> kinds of confused because you started it, and then I started doing it to him, and he'd be sitting in English class where I could see him from standing outside my door, <laughs> and I'd just stare at him and give him the, like, I'm looking at you, you know, fingers <laughs> to the eyes, point at him thing. His and, sophomore year, he started doing it back at us during uh-huh. the, the assemblies. <laughs> it was funny. Anyway, so I, I will give that one on the mark, and we will go to this one. This is the first one that... I'm a little confused about. Uh, yeah, this is bit, trying to pretend that I am a grammar Nazi, uh, which I, I, I had when I was a younger English teacher and I thought that that's what English teachers were supposed to do. I was more likely to amped to do that, to correct a student's language. But through mm-hmm. my master's classes, I've kind of learned that that's not necessarily a way that you need to go about doing that. Yeah, go and, listen to our first podcast. Yeah. And then uh, like this is uh, trying to impose standard English upon somebody. As long as you're communicatively effective, as long as it, you make sense, it makes perfectly fine. Uh, and so it mean like that's so that's not on the mark. That's All not right, on the mark. Missed the mark. Sorry. Missed the mark on that one. I will say you guys know that I'm not a grammar Nazi because I accidentally just put their T H E I R talking about their T H E R E on a test. Um and didn't notice it until after I handed the test out. So there you go. T H E I R. I do appreciate like the, the multiple uh the multiple uh the multiple Ross memes I got. All right, so <laughs> I like this one personally. No one, Mr. Norman, horrible Trump impression. Huge, huge, huge wall, China, <laughs> huge success. Big I do huge. like the no one, and then like I have noticed that meme popping up a little more, so I do like that one. Yes, and I appreciate the fact that you got a Shrek meme into it to Shrek doing Trump hands. Well done. I'm going to give that one on the mark, but I think my Trump impression is huge success. Huge. All right. So next we have, uh, (laughs) we have one for both of us. It's, it's like a really just classic style of meme. Here you go. (laughs) (laughs) That is exactly what we do. Yeah, so we totally, that's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do in here. We yeah. just sit around and giggle <laughs> in a field of whatever that is. Well, we're not watching our own podcast, so we're just, like, giggling about what we had said in our own podcast. Yes, we like, find ourselves amusing. Like, I'm not going to die. I listened to it one time just to make sure it sounded okay, and then I don't really go back to it. But yeah. <laughs> I'll usually listen to it right after it comes out. Then I'll listen to it like on the way to school or something to keep myself awake because we're just so entertaining, mm-hmm. you know. Um, all right. So we're going to go into a format of just kind of clicking through here because those were kind of the categories and those have run out. So starting with one uh, that I don't fully understand. Huh. Where is that? What? Butter on my belts. That's that's funny. Like when did like huh? That was a recent picture. I feel like that. Yeah, that has to Which, have been taken recently. Yeah, I appreciate it. Butter on my bald spot. <laughs> is that a thing? Like, is that something people say? I don't think it is, but I I I don't think it is actually a meme. But I appreciate like the creative like evolution of it. So uh, whatever that means, sure. This one, um... 
I've seen this picture of you now. I appreciate I appreciate it. Man, these spot the difference games are getting harder and harder, and I am a minion. What I like even better though is my bearded brother in the background, not sure if he's in a picture or not. <laughs> so just the fact that you lumped him in there, and that's my sister's hand on the right. But anyway, yeah, so that they found my Facebook pictures. Thank you. I do look like a minion. So that one's a good one. I like that one. I like yeah, that one. I appreciate that one. All right. So this is one. Student corrects Norman, yes. Mr. Norman. And then we've got the gif. <laughs> no, no one asked you anything ever. <laughs> um, for those of you who know who the student is, I'm going to have to block it out when I put it on the video. But for those of you who know who the student is, it is someone who probably does know more about some of the social studies specifics of battle details than I do, and he loves informing me of it. Um, as as back to once again, we're going to name drop Doctor Fridley. As he pointed out, there will in history there will be certain people that know more than what you do, but you as a history teacher, you'll have much more of a scattershot knowledge than some of those other yes, people. Yes, you've got the breadth of knowledge. All right. Oh, here we go. No one is. I guess I'm just stupid. Uh, y'all never listen to me. <laughs> me. So this is the student looking at you. I guess um, I'm just stupid, and y'all never listen to. Yeah, like uh, I will. I will go on that rant occasionally. And be like, oh, so let's just not listen to Mr. Davidson. Mr. Davidson doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, I'll, I'll go on that. So uh, this is a specific student who uh, is in your class and is in my class and has made several of these about <laughs> both of us. So that one is amusing. Oh, there's... <laughs> That's another one. Another another name specific. <laughs> so we'll have to cover the names on this one. I do like that one. I do. Uh, that's not just those three people, but that's also other students too. <laughs> so yes, if if you are talking while we were reading, I will give you that look. <laughs> He'll. It's even better if that's he's the wearing the Dwight shirt to yes. go with it. I don't have a brown shirt. <laughs> and the green tie. All right, someone. Moves blue water bottles. <laughs> I forgot you about this one. <laughs> this is accurate. Don't touch my stuff. Sorry, oh. I just yelled. Uh, this you can hear it. It's oh. right here. This is the blue water bottle. Don't touch it. It's mine. So many days trying to search for that. Yes, blue water bottle. I uh, th hopefully this doesn't start another wave of thefts. There were a couple days where uh, someone hid it in a locker, or there was one time where it just disappeared for like three days, and it came back to me. And I still don't know in between if it was like at someone's house. I don't know. Um, but yes, I will Shrek style get out me swamp on you. Don't touch my stuff. Quality. <laughs> <laughs> the, like I'm that. not gonna, uh, like I'm a I'm I'm not gonna lie. I, like whenever all of those plagiarism things came in here recently, like. I did guilt trip him a little bit by saying it was I just such a horrible teacher that y'all can't do this. And I'm and I'm going to admit that yes, I did that on a purpose. I played up that on a purpose to make it seem like make y'all feel bad cuz you really shouldn't plagiarize, especially if you're in college cuz if you're in college, they'll kick you, there's a good chance that they'll kick you out and say you're not allowed to come back, pay us all this money. So do not plagiarize. Anyway, <laughs> you should have seen the look he was just giving this microphone. Yes, because I was looking at y'all. So please do not plagiarize. Yes, I I think like if you were cheating, like if you if the amount of people that were cheating on essay, I do feel like did I do something wrong? Did I not necessarily teach you how bad it was to plagiarize yet? So anyway. yes, you guys did it to him. <laughs> <laughs> this was from the same time period. <laughs> uh. <laughs> This was, for the record, this meme that you are seeing right now was submitted with the last meme. Yeah, I would say that that's not necessarily accurate, but during that time, I was like, you know what? Uh, yeah, I, w I had given up on a lot of things at that particular time. Not life, but, you know. Oh, God. What, who is this guy? I, feel I like don't know. I should know. know what this is from, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, so you'll see. I do appreciate the baldness, though. <laughs> the, the accurate... No, it's the wrong place. It is. <laughs> this was apparently just for teachers in general. Um, it's just a tick. You know, like it's a, like you just hear some like 
you say that no one's talking, but like you hear like mumblings and you're just trying to work on something. So you say, shh. And I will say that this happens way more in my classroom with students doing it, where the classroom will finally get quiet and I'll take a breath to start to say something. And some student from like a corner of the classroom will just be like, shh, be quiet, everybody. And then everyone gets loud again. And so you guys do this as much as we do. Look in the mirror. I don't know. Maybe this was about students. I assumed it was about us. <laughs> this is. <laughs> hey, hey listen. in my defense, I also eat uh, alone in my room. <laughs> so that's not in your defense. That's in that's incriminating yourself uh, oh, too. In your defense, yeah. <laughs> You're defending me. I I I I I, I eat alone because I try to work during lunch. <laughs> So, to be perfectly honest, the students see or say this because they don't realize that most of the time I'm sitting in the office while I eat. And at lunch, the reason I'm in there is to watch you hooligans to make sure that you guys aren't, like, throwing food at each other Mm -hmm. or trying to shoot water bottles and trash cans from across the room. You know who you are. Um, And so... Yes, Tuesdays are the worst days. I am paying attention to you guys. (laughs) That's why I'm not hanging out fraternizing with other staff. Although I will say that every now and then other staff join me. All right, so this one out of all... Uh, this is me. I'm getting blown up. Oh, getting blown there up. There we go. Oh, explosions. My fo- like so many people are calling my phone. All right. <laughs> He's uh, a popular guy right I now. I am. So this, this meme is my both probably favorite and least favorite of all of these memes. It's like <laughs> it's both ends of the spectrum. I've had a meme made about me with one of these. It was... Uh, was actually teach the class was the correct lane or randomly yell at one particular student and it was me driving <laughs> off towards that one direction. Yes, so here's the thing, guys, is uh, I will say that when I showed my wife this meme, she just looked at me like, it's true. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I genuinely apologize to any students that I have stared at like they're stupid. I don't mean it. Most of the time, it's because my brain is just genuinely trying to process what you just said, and I'm trying to figure it out. Or you had just went over the question. There you go. And now you're having to answer the question yeah, so there's a so, third time. <laughs> so many times where I will, I will literally say, and so the president is the head of the executive branch, and then a student's hand will pop up, and I will say, yes, student, and the student will say, who is the president, and what branch are they in? And I will give you that look. I will go screeching off to the right-hand exit and do that. That's but, me after I get asked a question three times. I'm like, all right, individually three times. I'm like, all right, everybody up here, listen to me. I just got asked this question three times. Uh, the answer, like, here's the thing you need to think about is this, 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 and then as soon as I let them back to working, a hand will go up, and I'll ask, all right, they'll be like, so blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I just talked to all of you about this. So here's how you know. Whoever created this meme, we can't say your name. You know who you are, though. Uh, you know that it's a good meme because we're having to defend ourselves from it. <laughs> so we're sitting here, like I'm sitting here trying to defend myself, meaning that there's probably a lot of students out there going, that's so true, right? So <laughs> good job, good job, quality meme. Uh. <laughs> What does it take to be a good te- a good teacher? Scream at the students for something they don't they didn't do. Uh, I mean, neither of us believe that. But every now and then, if you've got a knucklehead next to you, you're in the splash zone. It happens yeah. sometimes. It's like Shamu, <laughs> except I guess we're Shamu. And I don't and I don't understand how. I'm that not. Works. I'm not gonna lie. I'm Shamu. I'm a pretty big guy. <laughs> I do like that meme, though. Oh, oh here we go. The starter pack. The greatest hits. The I've actually pack. seen these, and I th- still think these are the best of the memes. Yes, this is qu- that is me. I'm not going to lie. That I showed that to one of the youth that I work with the, at church, and he was like, yep, that's you. It's the water you. bottle. It's the water the, bottle. The, but it is the, it's the water bottle. It's the shoes. The fact that I wear the sweaters. I still don't know who that rat is. I've, I mean, I know he's from Flushed Away. I've never watched it, but I've had several students... Tell it's me I look face. like yeah. the rat from Flushed Away. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's the water bottle that makes it for me. Yeah, and that is that is the water bottle. Like, that is... Apparently, that has just become part of my teacher persona. Um, it's just because it filters stuff, so I don't have to taste the metal school water. All right. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> this, least, uh, uh, this is another meme that I really <laughs> like. Uh, least of the most dislike. 
least to most disliked teachers at PHS. All teachers are disliked the same amount, Norman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I had the student submit this and then apologize for submitting it and say, oh, it's not really. I know. I know it's true. That's why you submitted it. So, uh, yes, quality. I think it's funny. I would have laughed at it more, except that I've seen this one several times. This was one of the first memes that was submitted. So uh, we'll give it to you. Uh, Here you go, Davidson starter pack. I like the Davidson starter pack. It, like the, like I don't know if those are the exact shirts that I wear, but that is the same style of shirt that I wear. Just and, a solid color. And he is wearing those shoes right now. They're cleaner than the shoes in the picture. They're actually not Converse, but the uh, knockoff version of them, the Air Walkers from Payless, which is going out of business. It's dying. Payless yep. is dying. Then the Beagle. I love my Beagle. I love my Scout. She's a good dog. And then, of course, the bald spot, which, you know. I had several uh, students ask. Ask me if that was actually your picture. <laughs> That's not my picture. <laughs> it's not that bad. It is not. It's not. But I at least still have some fuzz there. Um, by the way, fun fact on the Payless thing, uh, go check out The Company Man, or I think Company Man. He does reviews of, or talks about companies and their rises and falls. has a very in-depth ri- why they Payless have Payless failed? Yeah. <laughs> or fell? Okay, <laughs> this is, I feel like this is a misconception. <laughs> This is. I'm least, not gonna lie. Like one of the things that I've always like. You hear like it, it, we we try to be like no. I don't want to hear about another. But we colleague, hear about each but other. But we hear about each other. And one thing I've always heard is like no one ever reads my papers. And it's from this year's senior class. Especially hates me for this. I was about to say a student name. I can't say the student name. But there's one student who has hated me since she was a freshman for the fact that she thinks I am not prompt enough on returning papers. Um, okay, fine. Maybe it's accurate. All, if all the students are sitting out there watching this or looking at this meme and going, true, then uh, like the video and share with a friend. And say, go to this spot. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I, I follow the rule and I don't necessarily go, like, there's a rule that says you talk about good things and you try to keep the negatives down to three things. I do try to keep it to that. But yeah. <laughs> well, maybe that's why this bird thing only has three fingers. So hey, there the you go. Those are the, here are the three bad things. Pah! <laughs> so, by the way, student, this this means you're the raccoon. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I haven't watched this show, but. Basically, uh, you're like, I think I did good on my essay. Wrong. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny though. That I feel like that happens a lot for a lot of And with the current and with the seniors right now with that particular class, as the professor sets it up, you have to be really critical on that second draft because it's trying to encourage them to do revision. That way they actually go back and reread what they write and fix things because the first thing you put out there is not always the best. And so that's the reason why we have to be super hard on that second draft compared to the third draft. That's what drafts are for, guys. Yeah. Um that's why you never mind, we won't go back to that well. <laughs> I don't even understand this meme, but it's really funny. Look at that second I think picture. Moto Moto. <laughs> just the way that they've blended your face into the water as the hippo. It's. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it either. It is, it's a it's, meme that's going around it, right now. It's interesting, I will say the least. I just. It's me when, whenever I'm gro- I've grown out my beard at one point. Oh, it's the mustache. This is back when I was like 20. This is back when I was like nineteen, actually. I just, I just appreciate the fact that the the picture fits so well width wise with the reflection that like you actually blend into the water. That's the, my favorite part of this whole thing. Is like it just fits right there. Mm-hmm. I don't know what moto. I mean, I think it's from Madagascar, but I don't know. <laughs> we're we're uncultured. Teach us. Yep. Write us a dissertation in the comments as to what the heck the moto moto mean meme means. Is that it? Have we All reached right. the bottom? Have we, we reached have not. bedrock? I, Where did, I must have clicked something. Hmm. How did I skip over this one? All right. So we had a special request. Uh, we had a teacher who was feeling left out because she had not gotten a starter pack. So here is the final meme the Miss Brands starter pack. Here it is. If yes. you are listening, Miss Brands, we got you a starter pack. 
come on the podcast. Actually, I count this. This is Miss Brands on the podcast. This is her. Yeah, look. Yes. There look, she is. She just walked into the room. Ha, she... You've been on our show. Take that. We see we you. We win. There's pictures of you right here <laughs> on our podcast. We see your vanilla Coke. Yes. And your... Oh, no. Whoa. She just threw the vanilla Coke at me. Oh, I want the vanilla Coke. All right. Did it bust? <laughs> All right. So uh, we have one or two other things that are technically memes that... Uh, one of them is this. I'll have to take a picture of this. It's upside down. And then, well, that makes it even better. <laughs> um, so I'll have to take a picture of this and uh, then post it. But this was one that was submitted actually in Ms. Brands' class. And uh, I would have to say new meme format. Um, it does seem like, like, which this type of thing is kind of like a meme format. Like, I, even though I really am not magnetic, but... Uh, I yeah I like this. But stretching. you are elastic. I am elastic. Yeah, yeah I like the elastic. I can start one. fire with my hands. Miss Brands said, "quote I don't know that the science is right, but it was <laughs> funny and it was you guys." So there we go. Um, I I do enjoy We're in space. I do enjoy the detail of keeping us with the same colored shirts throughout the whole time. I got green, which um, matches one of the memes earlier. Yes, and I like the fact that uh, you have, like, ridiculously long hair in a lot of these. My hair is, it, it, I am bald, but I'm also shaggy at the moment. <laughs> I need, I'm going to get a haircut over spring break. I am going to get a haircut. I just haven't had time to get a haircut. <laughs> I, uh, I just got a haircut because I get my haircut in my bathroom with a buzzer thing. And you're all, it's gone. It's like mowing. Um... And last, but so there you go. You guys can look at that one. I'll leave that up for a half second. Ta-da! Read the details. Pause it if you want to read further. <laughs> I do want to see more Two Dumb White Guys comics. Yeah, Two Dumb White Guys comics. Go for it. You know who you are. Last but not least, we have this. Sorry if I just wrecked your ears, but that was me dropping a manuscript. Oh, This yeah. is the classic meme. It has been around for years. Someone put in the suggestion box... The entire B movie script. Congratulations. Deep breath, Barry. <laughs> Bees in lab coats. <laughs> Sometime we'll read it, but we're not going to do it right now. I will put a link to the B movie script here. Ta da! There, I put you a link. It might just say link in description because. Let's say I think that got rid of. Uh... Annotations like that. Oh, really? Well, dang it. Okay, well, link in the description. Um, so, there you have it. That I'm was your... sorry all that uh, Vanessa said to Barry. <laughs> You're just going to get random quotes now? Mm -hmm. um, Where's your proof? Where's the evidence? Show me the smoking gun! Was that Barry? No, that was Montgomery, apparently. I don't even know who Montgomery I is. I mean, either. I've never seen the B movie. What? It... Yeah. Make him watch it, students. All right, so... Or how about make me read it? That has been... Yeah, he's got it. He now has the entire transcript of the B-movie. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have gone through all of your memes. If I missed one, if you sent one in and I didn't get it, please comment below and say, Yo, Norman, you missed out on my dope meme. Um, these memes were quality for the most part. I liked them. And memes mean something usually because they connect somehow with the person that is uh, creating them or reading them. And in this case, obviously, for our community here at Portageville, it makes sense because, uh, you know, you can look at these, the Miss Brand starter pack, the Mr. Davidson starter pack, etc. And you guys know exactly what that is. Um, just remember, your memes have to match with whatever audience you want. And the simpler and more understandable they are, the more they'll go viral. Between you and me, I was just dying to get out of that office. Fade out. <laughs> well, I think that is it. So until next time, my name's been Paul Davidson. My name is and will be Scott Norman. And we've been two dumb white guys.